YouTube, Wagwan, welcome back to the channel. Um, beat making Friday. Um, and then I'm also going to show you <clears throat> um, the vocal chain and um, maybe try to record something. I don't know. Um, but the last time I tried to record something with the vocals, <clears throat> never turned out good because it was like some feedback and all that. So a good friend of mine, um, uh, DJ J from Guardian, definitely give me a uh, call and say, yo, you have to mute... Um, you have to mute mic one, which is this mic right here, right? And then you can record and it will sound more clear. So we're going to try to do that today. So make we get into making the beat. So again, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. So make we search and go, um, make we go sign at it again. Um, try to find something. Um, let me see, R&B, let me go see R&B, let's hear this. This one, I could just go with this one. Cause we want to do like a quick beat and then try record on it. All right, so load up that. Um, hold on, the BPM is 110, so I have to change the BPM to 110. And then, uh, let's see, boom, let's go here. And then, um, what I'm gonna do is just drag this over some more here, and then drag one more over. And then actually, you know what? I'm gonna um, duplicate that. Duplicate and then put this down here. This gonna be like the verse. Um, but we're not gonna record to the verse cause we're just gonna show you the vocal chain and then uh, make sure so it sound kinda clean. Um, I think I got a question from somebody who watched one of my videos. Um, so how do I get rid of latency? So. I just want to show you my settings. So preference, uh, let's go audio. Uh, let me drag this over. That way you guys can see it. All right, so my buffer size is um, 256. So that's what I have it at right here. And then uh, my sample rate is zero. Um, and then the latency, you can see it right here, 5.9 milliseconds, I guess. So this is my settings right here. Um, you can copy it. And I think that's how I get no latency. All right, so. All right, we could go, go back to the beat. Um, EQ, so. EQ, and we're going to take out the high end. Right? That way I just hear the bass and probably my voice. All right? So we could hear it. Alright, so we're gonna use that and then now we're just gonna import um we're just gonna import some drums. So let's go with a different uh let me see project four hundred let's see that. All right, I could try that. I could try this drums and see how it work out. The kick right here, hi hat, right, a snare, and it, the the loop already have a bass line in it already, so we don't need to um add a bass line. So let's hear if this sound all right.
right, so I'm leave it like that. <clears throat> Next thing now, because remember, you want to make the beat quickly. So we have the beat, right? And now we're going to add an audio track because we want to record on it, all right? So remember now, said so this is, um, what is this? Is this B? So this is, um, let me make sure so we know the, the, um, the key of the beat. So the key of this beat is, let me see, is it this one? So no, the key of this beat is BPM. So it's E minor. So E minor, we have to remember that. All right, and then we'll go up here, add a new track, and we'll add an audio, audio track. Hopefully this sound clearer. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. We want to make sure it sounds clear. So first thing we're going to put on here is going to be auto-tune effects, and it's E minor. So we'll go, we'll change this to minor, and then we have E, E minor right here, and then we're going to change the input to input 2, all right? And let me see if this sound, hold on, check, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 so it's a feedback, hold on, yeah, yeah. yeah. Check, 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 all right, so, Maybe it's because of this. Check. Yeah. All right, so it's sound a little bit clearer right here. I want my microphone right here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to see if we can change this. So again, let me show you the, um, the chain. Let's take off the... Um, Let's take off the auto tune for right now. Yeah. So right now, this is what the chain look like. So on the the preamp, you know, I'm gonna take this off too. Uh, so on the preamp right here, we have the Neve. Um, I'm have it at 40, and you can turn up the volume right here. So yeah, but when you turn the volume up. Um, you get more of the room noise, so make a lower it to like right here. Uh, that's on all right, right here. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, all right, so could turn it up some more. All right, so that is the settings I have for the Neve. All right, and the Neve it was on sale for $74, so I mean, I think you can go pick that up at um, with the UAD, um, on the UAD website. After that, I have a LA-2A right here. You can also use this. Um, I think this is the gain right here. Oh, no, that's the peak reduction. Sorry. So I would put it to like about 30. Um, and I leave the gain at 40. But if you put it up some more, you get more gain. Um, but you can leave it at 40. I would leave it at 40 right here. After that, no. We have an EQ. Um, I'm not sure about this, so I want to take this one off. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm going to take this one off, right? And then I'm going to use this right here, which is a you have a pre delay, right? Um, I'm just trying out this plugin, so I think it have um, you have dampen echo, you have different kind of um delays. Um, if you don't want to use a delay, right, you can just take it off. Don't need to use that. But those are the settings I have right now. So you can use a Neve right here. That's the settings. And then you can use the LA 2A. And those are the settings right there. Um, if you want to put, because um, you can always add reverb after that, after, um, after you record. So, but if you want to add reverb, then you go here and you go to reverb and then you can add reverb right here and you can put it on i'm gonna use let me see nice it's called nice vocal two yeah and you can um use this and you can lower it some more 
like that. Um, I can, you don't have to pull it up too much. Begin. You can turn it down to right here. So this sound all right. There you go. All right, then after that now, we're ready to record. If you like how you sound like this and you're clear, um, you can record. So make a try to do a thing first, all right? Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. record so I'm gonna take this off right here and then we want to record so need this to come in right here two three four yeah. So, as you can see, we just record something. Um, me can't sing, obviously. But it's just to show you, you can make the beat quickly and then lay down some vocals after that. All right? So, if this helped you in any way, like the video, all right? And um, share the video. And, I mean, um, if you want to know something else, how to... <clears throat> um, probably get um, clear vocals. Um, I can point you in the right direction, but I mean, I've been looking at YouTube videos also. But that is my vocal chain. So if somebody come in and want to record them, this is the same chain I would use. It's a simple chain. It's not enough too much thing in it. It's just a Neve plugin and the LA 2 a all right? And we have um, auto-tune. I mean, you know what? We never even turn on the auto-tune. So hold on, we're going to do, do that over again. But I'm going to leave the video now, but I'm going to do it over again and hear it sound with auto-tune. All right? So hold on. Yeah, so we never even turn on auto-tune. All right, so we're going to duplicate that track, right? And leave that out there and then turn on auto-tune. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. So I'm going to record something different. 
because I have a different vibe. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that <laughs> that was just a freestyle, yeah, hear me. Um, and just to hear how it sound with um with auto tune, so I could play it back. All right. Yeah. So, uh, enough for that. Um, yeah, so like and subscribe to the video. Um, I mean, to the channel. All right, if you if you wanna learn something, or if you don't want to share it to that friend, and um, my always I got link on to a different um channel. Make sure you go check out DJ Gio from Guardian. My always I go big him up, cause guess what? He helped me out through um the vocal part where it was it was not too clear. And hopefully this video come out clearer. And make sure you say you uh, uh, can use the settings of me have, right? And go record some music. Alright? So until the next video, I'm out.